Calling all units, calling all units. Donut Shot has a fresh dozen. Go ahead and take a 1040. So you go, bang. Now you graduate, SWAT school, the different elements, uh, real quick, hit those real quick. Uh, the different the, parts. The different elements within the... Uh, you said you were a sniper. Still am. So, but that's yeah, what I'm saying. So am. is that a part of it? Sure, absolutely. So not everyone so, who's, who makes SWAT school correct. automatically becomes right, a Right, absolutely. Uh, obviously, volunteer position. Yeah. You know, that, and, you know, just, just to be very clear, when it comes to being a sniper, whether it's in the military or in the law enforcement side, it needs to be a volunteer position. You cannot effectively have someone operate behind that gun unless they have a willingness to take a life to save a life. Mm -hmm. And you can only get that from somebody that's volunteering for the position. You're not going to get that from somebody that's told you have to do this. Yeah, good so, point. Uh, that's, that's very important. Yeah. That's, even, that's written in doc, doctrine publications oh, okay. throughout the military. Yeah. You know, and, and, and that's just one of those things. You, you need a volunteer because that's somebody that says, hey, I want to do this. So they, they, they say, look, this is, this is what being a sniper involves. Sure. Are you down? Absolutely. Yes or no? Absolutely. Bang. No? Okay. Right. All right, well, so sniper. Yes. That's one. You got the boot, the guy who's running ammunition. That's the guy who's learning the he's sponge. A, he, uh, the sponge. He's a team member. You okay. know, some units, depending on what team you're on, what department you're in, they'll be known as an uh, assaulter. Okay. All right, because when an assault is being carried out, which is just a structure is being taken over methodically, systematically, you're part of the first element that's inside to best word I could say is gain a foothold in the property and then just start dominating it little by little. All right. That's an assaulter. Yes. That's the guy who just got out of the uh, SWAT school. Yes. Also the sponge. Sponge. Sniper. Yes. What else? You got waterborne guys. Waterborne. So, you know, we're surrounded by water on three sides. Waterborne mm -hmm. guys are specialized in waterborne operations. That's going to be swimming. Whether you're doing scout swimming operations, vessel boarding operations, um, it could be anything in the water. Okay. Wow. What else? Well, obviously, from there, you're going to have um, other specialties, explosive breachers. Mm -hmm. These are guys that go to courses that are specifically generated towards making a energetic breach <laughs> <laughs> i like the way he's selected so i had to you know energetic. and i know because listen yeah. i know you know yeah, yeah. that is the actual correct terminology yeah, it's yeah. an energetic breach right. uh, so making energetic breaches and that's a very intricate course as well mm -hmm. yeah very very intricate course guys that go to that are not just knuckle draggers that are just like oh oh me yeah. caveman me do nah. yeah. Yeah. you know you're gonna send the best of the best for okay. those spots uh, guys that you know that you can count on under pressure they can carry out these specialized operations within a specialized unit already what about medical medical so we have medics that are duly certified as police officers so they'll go through an uh, i believe it's an 11 week auxiliary academy where they'll be certified as auxiliary police officers but originally they were fire medics fire 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 fighters for the same those guys municipality municipality they just get it all man right they, yeah they everyone get, loves them they get, they get the, to be on a swat the sofas teams. and the recliners what? they're pretty hot yeah. right like these dudes are shredded i love them do they right? still wear like, those calendar oh, come on these guys yeah. have their own calendar bro so october what's the hottest one december or october jesus probably How does that usually work i don't know i'd say probably, probably, probably december bro probably december yeah. <laughs> so these guys they get it all man you know what I don't really dislike people, but firefighters. <laughs> you know what? I'll tell you this. Rightfully so, though, because, and I learned that lesson many years ago. United kidding, States Marine Corps infantry line units, you don't have dedicated Marines that are medics. You have Navy corpsmen. corpsmen. So corpsmen provide the medical um, for you. Yeah. These guys are the same way. Where those guys, those medics, not only hump around what you're humping around, they're lugging a gun, too, and if there's a gunfight, they're in it. Number one, they're providing triage. Number two, if they're putting a bad guy down, they're putting a bad guy down. So they're expected to do everything you're expected to do and save a life. And, yeah. Absolutely. Our medics, phenomenal. Same thing. That's you awesome. You know, these are, these are dudes that their original profession was medical, medical, medical. Yeah. And now we teach these dudes, hey, man, something happens. I need you to carry this gun. Come take care of business, and then come take care of me. 
Yeah. And they are rock and roll. Yeah, they're squared away. Absolutely. Do, do they carry firearms? They do, absolutely. On them, Issued yeah. firearms, yeah. absolutely. They go through. Because uh, you said they're duly certified. Though. Correct. Yeah, no, yeah. Th- these guys are the real deal. And and a shout out to all my fire friends. Please, yes. all, my, all my fire peeps out there, I'm just making a joke. I'm envious more than anything. And so you're... You're a full-time operator, full-time on the team. Yes. That's your nine-to-five, yep. in air quotes. Um, uh, some cities, like mine, is a part-time where yep. the officers are on the road, and then they are either called off for trainings or called off for missions, um, all that kind of stuff. And then there's other agencies we were discussing that are uh, multi-agency uh, SWAT teams sure. for yeah, you know small. larger regions yeah. that just maybe aren't as busy. So you've got those different levels. Are those fire medics with you guys 100% of the time full-time, or are they also on a truck ladder? They're on a collateral basis, What's meaning that? their full-time job is to provide medical services for the population of the city. Okay. So call-out basis. Call-out basis. Okay. Right, Anything need- SWAT-related, they'll be with us. Okay. Absolutely. So they're on a call. Right. They got a beeper. Right. Okay. So beep, beep, beep. So they might be on a truck, red vehicle, or right. are they down in my uh, Red. We got red. City. We got red. Red. Yeah. Red. red fr- woo. Woo. You know, ladders and yeah. stuff. <laughs> and the beeper goes off. We've got to go to work in right. that direction. Right. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Mm-hmm. And then obviously you have your rank structure where you have a commander, a sergeant over the officers, and sure. it's like it's like any other unit. Right. What's up, Nod Squad? Hope you enjoyed that clip from the Donut Chop Podcast. You can head on over to the Donut Chop Podcast YouTube channel where we have the entire interview. While you're there, make sure to click subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you can know when we upload. There's going to be tons of new content, a whole bunch of guests. If you guys have any suggestions, head on over and hit us up in the comments. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, I'll see you over on the Donut Shop Podcast channel.